We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Taken down at the 26. The halfback picks up a yard. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. And this one is a beauty. Ohio State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback, as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. He's at midfield, and down he goes at about the 45. Well, the running back always wants to try to hide. It almost is being a decoy. I'm just in here to block. I'm picking up the blitz, and then at the last second, he just kind of slips out behind those linemen. In many cases, the defenders, the linebackers, and safeties who are trying to come up to make a play, they can't even see the running back because he's behind those big 100, 300-pound offensive linemen. That brings up second and one. They'll go ground. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 31. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's second and 10. Ball on the 31. Fires out to his wideout. That'll bring up third and two. run and he's brought down you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive i mean this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down tackle after a decent run up the gut that's a game of four that makes it seven and six three here. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Ready? Tackle around the 40 yard line. Field. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. Complete. He's got room. Locked down at the 37 yard line. time inside the 10 it's away from him touchdown what made this so impressive was first his ability to see where the space was to run and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Game 13 on the line. That makes it first and ten. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And he's tackled right away. That's a game of nine on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 46. Two down. New seven. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 43 yard line, it's second down. That quickly to the tailback. Ball is loose. Fumble. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. What was that? 
Third down again. Got to do better. Come on, QB, come on. Hey, check Mike 46. Cut, 27. Motion, motion. Motion! Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Northwestern's up by four. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. No. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Northwestern with a one-point lead. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. wrapped up for the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Didn't fool the defense at all. They dropped him before he had a chance to get close to the first down. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's on the run, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Decent pickup. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That makes it fourth and inches. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Northwestern, up a point. Heading for the corner. Very good tackle in space. Caught open field. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gets it. He's in space. He goes out of bounds at the 43 yard line. You 
feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. They give to the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Here's the, nope, they snap it to the up back. And down he goes at the 49. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. This is the eighth play of this drive. Northwestern is up one. Set, 10-19. And he's got it. He's taken down at the 44. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. That's a gain of four on the play. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Set. Over the hut. He's out of bounds. Right around the 38 yard line. This is the second time on this drive alone that the defense has stopped him on first, second, and third down, only to give it up on the fourth down. This is the 11th play of this drive. Screen to the back, no good. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From the 38 yard line, second down. Oklahoma! Draw play and the defense was ready for it. This is the 13th play of this drive. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Northwestern with a one-point lead. Credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 14-yard line. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. The Wildcats lead it by one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. 
Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40. And down he goes at about the 49. That's a good point, Dan, 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check by 46. Check by 46. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. That's a good point, Dan, 16 yards. First down. Here he goes. He gets to about the 24-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Gain of five yards. That'll make it 35. Great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. They'll go for two in this situation. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They don't get it. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Push him out around the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Mike five, Mike five. Up the middle for a nice game. With the tackle. Call it a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's 
He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 36. Here's the halfback. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. yard line from the 23 yard line first down they go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss that was a loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 11. here's the eighth play of the series Stuffed. That brings us third and twelve. He's brought down in the open field. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Northwestern to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buckeyes struggled in that first half, but they've come out here in the third quarter on fire. I would have loved to heard the halftime speech because this head coach is a demanding head coach. Clearly, he was not happy with the first half. Whatever he said has fired his team up, and they look like a different team here in the second half. Ohio State is up two. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at about the 41. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check it Yellow seven. Yellow seven. Motion, motion, motion. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Tackles him hard. It's a 31 yard line. Flings it. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Tackle made right around the 30. He makes it to the 28 yard line. Makes it out to about the 16. Game of 12 on the play. First down. The 10. Brought down around the four yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Ohio State holds just a two point lead. They make the stop at about the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. He scrambled. 
And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. He makes the PAT. A nice nine-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Ohio State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. He's on the run. going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down. Right around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Oklahoma! Nice run up the middle. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. four yards. That'll make it second and seven. So at the end of the third quarter, Ohio State leads it 19-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. after a decent run up the gut. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. level at the 28. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And he's tackled after positive yardage. position to score. to get him in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. A score here might effectively end this one. 
Ohio State with a two-point advantage. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's a team. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Red, two, blue, 20. Go! And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Blue 14! Blue 14! Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. That makes it fourth and nine. You can bet the putter sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. Booming kick. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling around. And down he goes at about the 35. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Receiver first down. They'll bring him down around the 22 yard line. From the 22 yard line, first down. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. They go with a run. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Fires out to his wideout. Makes
makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Just under two to go in the game. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The Buckeyes and their team pretty happy with that field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. I think you got to go back to the drive. Uh, the kick was clutch, but I think what the quarterback did and the offense did was even more impressive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Northwestern still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's hit immediately. The spike will stop the clock. That'll bring them third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Mike Farr! Mike Farr! Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, Ohio State 22, Northwestern 17. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.